Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. And in today's video, I wanna talk about five plants that we have at our rabbitry that we feed our rabbits naturally. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, press the bell, that way you get notified of all of our Angora rabbit videos. So the first thing we have is clover. And right here, there's actually two different kinds of clover. This is one of the red clovers and then we have white clover. And these are mixed together in this area. We feed both the flower of both and the actual uh, leaves of the plant. So too much clover is not good for your rabbit, but then again, too much of any particular plant is not good. You always wanna have a bit of a variety in there. So clover grows naturally. Again, you wanna make sure that we, that you don't have chemicals on your lawn or wherever you get these plants from. So the next is this plant right here. This plant is a sunflower. It's again organically grown and these leaves, the entire plant actually, the stalk and when it gets the flower you can feed this to your rabbit. So these are these are a little bit rough feeling, but these are great. If you grow quite a few sunflowers, you can see just the size of this leaf that it doesn't take much. It doesn't take many leaves before you have a lot of food for your rabbits. The cool thing about sunflowers as well is these stalks, once the sunflower is done blooming, these stalks are they can be very tall depending on the variety of sunflower you have. And you can literally just let them dry where they are and harvest them in the winter time as things for your rabbit to chew on. So the next we have underneath our bean plants. So these right here, this long row that you see is actually, it's against the garage and there's netting that you can barely see. These are string beans and these beans will grow all the way up the side and they produce leaves as well. Um, you can easily pluck off a few of the leaves and feed them to your rabbit. Very easy to do. Um, the plants produce a lot in the fall. You can, there's a couple different ways you can feed these to your rabbits. You can dry them out, let them dry out, and simply harvest them and feed them. So the, the third plant was the actual, the bean plant, the leaves. We have a lot of them, but underneath, so here's the bean plants. And underneath the bean plants, you can see divided, just a tiny row of radishes. And this entire area actually here in the garden, these two little squares were full of radishes, but they've all been harvested already. Radishes are a great plant for your rabbits because they can, they like the leaves. They're a very easy, fast growing plant. And so uh, it is about the end of June going to be only a few more days left and then June will be done in all this area we can plant more radishes in this area and we can simply grow more for our rabbits to eat this of course can be dried out as well and what's fun is that you get to eat radishes as well or you can we produce a lot of radishes so we give them away so the fourth plant was the radishes now we're gonna take a walk and we have more plants in the garden but we'll talk about those later so we're gonna take a walk. In the shadow of mine might look kind of weird because I have a floppy hat on for the sunshine. And you see all the different grasses. And there's lots of different grasses that have seeds growing on them in all these grasses. The rabbits like eating the tips of the seeds. They like eating the leaves. They'll eat the entire grass plant. And in this particular area, we have lots and lots, ooh, a frog, oh goodness, lots and lots of plants. And you see right here some very, very, very tall grass plants. This, this is actually, let's see, I'll try standing next to it. So, it's quite tall. It reaches to over my belly button for sure. So, this is grass that can be dried. Uh, these, this can be dried and you can use it as hay. It can be hung and um, I'll show you some comfrey that we have hanging. But this is definitely 
great if it's organically grown, if there's no chemicals, and your rabbits absolutely love it. You can save it for the winter time as well. So we're walking into our rabbitry, and in our rabbitry, we have one empty pen, two empty pens, these are the four foot pens. We have two grow out two by two foot pens. These are temporary pens that are empty. So we have four empty pens right now, as well as our collapsible exercise pen up here. And then we have our double, um, our double rabbit transport pen. But in this four foot pen, we have some of our little bunnies and we have Mariah Carey. Every, oh, she's eating grass. We just fed them a whole bunch of greens, a whole bunch of grass this morning. This gives the rabbit something to do in feeding organically. The rabbits just seem healthier. They just seem happier. They have, they just seem like more calm, hello, more friendly bunnies when you feed your bunny properly. So then we have Arthur, of course. And Arthur's doing great this morning. And he has a ton of greens just kind of everywhere as well. You can see there's a lot of greens. This doesn't give our rabbits diarrhea. This doesn't, uh, because we fed our rabbits greens, because we have healthy rabbits, this isn't concerning at all for our rabbits. Well, let's show you the hanging plants. So this is some comfrey that we have harvested and we hung upside down to grow. And we just used bungee cords and hung these in the rabbitry, rabbitry, you've probably seen these in other videos. So when you think about feeding, um, when you think about harvesting and feeding greens for your rabbits, one of the cool things is if you have extra, you can actually have them hanging like this. When they're dry, you can hear the, the crinkle of them. There's a lot of mosquitoes in here, but you can hear the crinkle. These are dry when they're hung. You don't wanna hang them. Um, in a shady area like this when it's not dry because you'll get moldy plants. But those are the five plants that we can actually feed. So you have the clover, both the red and the white. You have grass, which is the last one we covered and the one that we feed the most of, which is simply um, grass is what hay is made of, unless you use something like alfalfa, then it's a different plant. And then we also have the radish, which is the small little plant. And we have the beans and the sunflowers. So those are the plants. And Mariah Carey's just kind of sitting here now. We're getting close to the time where it's an afternoon nap. Everyone's been eating and happy. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Press the bell if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video.